we welcome these guidelines and look forward to progressive, ambitious guidelines that will make a difference in lives of millions of women and girls and LGBTQI people through advancing women's and girls' rights and gender equality in the context of food and nutrition security. The right to adequate food cannot be realized without realization of the rights of women, children, and LGBTQI people. It is necessary to advance gender-inclusive language and approaches in the guidelines. We see how the current global food system builds on and perpetuates gender-based discrimination and violation of women's, girls, and LGBTQI rights. We believe that any policy recommendation on women's and girls' rights and gender equality must be grounded in already recognized human rights of women, girls, and LGBTQI people, as well as on key feminist principles such as gender justice, equality and equity, non-discrimination and intersectionality, participation and recognition. In order to achieve a fair and equal society where women in all their diversities can truly and fully enjoy their rights and self-determination, we must put at the center another model of consumption and production founded on agroecology and the food sovereignty par paradigm. Control over natural resources, particularly access to land, water and seeds must be guaranteed within the document with a focus on protection of biodiversity, nourishing people and our soils, valuing women's and indigenous people's knowledge that have taken care of the earth and fed us for century, for centuries needs to be central. The COVID-19 crisis has shone light on the unpaid care burden faced in particular by women, girls, and LGBTQI communities. Investment in care services to reduce women's, girls, and LGBTQI undue care burden is key to ensuring gender equality and food and nutrition security. The guidelines on gender equality and women's and girls' empowerment in context of food security and nutrition must be ambitious enough in order to become an important document to analyze the structural causes of violence against women, children, and LGBTQI people. We must ensure that it makes steps forward, paving way towards the elimination of violence against women, children, and LGBTQI. Thank you.